in video that has now gone viral two weeks ago. A Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer seen punching a woman as they tried to arrest her. Tonight, all charges against this woman and the man she was with have been dropped. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Siobhan Bryan. And I'm Molly Grantham. The police chief released a statement from CMPD saying he is disappointed with the drop to charges, but that he knows prosecutors have a tough job. He is still pushing for the release of the body cam video. Meanwhile, the NAACP has the opposite reaction. Erica Lunsford joins us live in studio breaking this all down. Erica. Well, guys, tonight, Chief Johnny Jennings tweeted that statement you guys mentioned and announced a community and police collaboration group. The NAACP, NAACP president says she agrees that collaboration is a good step. I was hoping for that and is exactly what should have happened from the beginning. That's NAACP President Corinne Mack's reaction to the news that all charges are dropped against Christina Pierre. Mack says she's worked with CMPD in the past to prevent incidents like this from happening. In this particular instance, there were two specific policies that did not happen. One, de-escalation, which is a key component to policing that did not happen on the day in question. The second one, the duty to intervene. I did not see any officer intervene to stop this man from hitting this woman. That's problematic. And so we need to begin to look at what we not only do in, this, in the city of Charlotte, but who do we have on the streets? After news of the dropped charges became public Tuesday night, Police Chief Johnny Jennings released a statement. He said he was, quote, disappointed to learn that all charges were dropped for Ms. Pierre and Mr. Lee, specifically the firearms charges and the assault on a government official charges. And that, even if charges are dropped or prosecution isn't likely, that does not change how we enforce the very laws we are sworn to uphold. The chief added that he hopes a new community and police collaboration group will collectively review certain CMPD policies to provide recommendations. Community activist Will Adams with a group called Team True Blue hopes that helps create more harmony. We as a community, we need to come together, come together stronger, and make sure that these police officers are held accountable for their actions. And again, Chief Johnny Jennings has said the body cam video shows a more complete story of what happened. We asked, he asked a police attorney to petition to the courts to release that video. The hearing for that is set for this Thursday. Reporting in the studio, Erica Lunsford, WBTV on your side. Erica, thank you. And we'll be following along with the decision on whether they ultimately decide to release that video. So stay with us and you can find all of our reporting on this story over the past two weeks at WBTV.com. And that breaking news just into our newsroom. All charges have been dropped against the woman who was hit multiple times by a Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer during an arrest earlier this month. Christina Pierre was the woman seen getting arrested in this now viral video. You can see an officer hitting her multiple times, leaving her visibly bruised. She was charged with assaulting and resisting an officer along with simple possession of marijuana. But now all charges against her boyfriend have also been dropped. Prosecutors say based on the body camera video and other recordings of what happened, they don't have the evidence to convict either of them. CMPD just told us they are not commenting on this case.